Now that the device is set up, we want to make sure that you always get precise measurement results and that the safety of your patients and members is guaranteed. Please follow these instructions for placement and calibration. The floor must be level and firm. Please avoid setting up on uneven floorboards or thick carpets, as these may give way and thus distort the weight measurement. Please make sure that the device is straight, does not wobble, and that the weighing platform is not resting on foreign objects. Ensure that an area of 20 centimeters behind the device and 50 centimeters in front of and next to the device is left clear so that the ultrasonic height measurement can achieve perfect measurement results. Also, be aware of invisible sources that can interfere with the ultrasonic height measurement. These include heat sources, such as halogen spotlights in the immediate vicinity of the ultrasonic head, and emotion detectors directed at the device, and drafts, such as from an air conditioner, fan, or open windows. Post-its, stickers, or other objects may not be protruding from the column. Installation in damp or wet rooms is prohibited. If the device is not yet at its final location, please note that the transport wheels may only be used for maneuvering and transport over short distances. For longer distances, carry the unit or use a suitable means of transport. Once the unit is properly placed, please level the platform. Leveling is performed using the leveling feet. The bubble of the level must be positioned exactly in the center. If the leveling feet are unscrewed too far, they may come loose from the unit. The stability of the unit is then at risk. Do not unscrew the foot screws more than 10 millimeters or one half inch. After leveling the platform, tighten the knurled wheels by turning them counterclockwise. This secures the foot screws against accidental adjustment. Now, route the power cord. The power plug should not be plugged into a power strip, but into an individual power socket. Since the device does not have an on-off switch, it is switched on as soon as it is plugged in. If not in use, the standby mode activates after the time period you specified in the menu. The cable must not become a tripping hazard. Route it in such a way that no one has to cross it, or if necessary, secure it with a cable crossover. Before performing a measurement with the device for the first time, please calibrate the ultrasonic height measurement probe. To do this, first go to the menu and perform a calibration measurement with an empty platform. You must keep a distance of 50 centimeters. After the measurement is complete, center the calibration rod on the platform and wait until the second calibration measurement is complete. To customize the display from the factory default settings, we recommend the following settings. Of course, you can always change these to fit your needs. Let's start with the display settings. Adjust the date format to the desired setting. Under Standby, you determine the time until the standby mode is activated when the device is not in use. We recommend a setting of three minutes. Under Options, you can control the voice guidance. First, choose the appropriate language for the voice guidance. For privacy reasons, we recommend disabling the voice guidance for the measurement results. Switch to the BMI BSA Waste menu. Select Waste Circumference so that it can be entered manually on the display. Under the Auto Hold menu item, activate the Hold function so that the determined weight values are automatically held on the display. 